I'm reading right now from the book of Matthew in the 27th chapter, verse 50 through 52. And it reads like this. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. Behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And the earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened. Many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. At the moment that Jesus breathed his last, several things happened. The gospel writers tell us that the thick tapestry that separated the holy of holies, the most holy place from the outer court was ripped from top to the bottom. The earth shook as well. There was like an earthquake. Rocks were split. And more amazingly and frighteningly, in the graveyard, tombs were opened, and many, the Bible says, many of the holy righteous that had died were brought back to life. And these people then came out of their tombs after Jesus' resurrection on Easter Sunday. And they went into the city of Jerusalem, and there they were seen by many other people. I often wondered how come this aspect of Jesus' resurrection, his death and resurrection, doesn't get more notice. You know, I've attended Easter services all my life, and I can't remember hearing anyone discuss this resurrection of godly saints at the time that Jesus rose. Matthew says that Jesus' death and resurrection brought others back to life who went into the city of Jerusalem and were seen by many people. Obviously, this is one of the strangest passages in the entire Bible. And unfortunately, we don't know about this event from any other source. It is only Matthew who describes this, and he doesn't tell us very much. But what he does declare is a very very great importance to all of us. The resurrection of many godly people as part of Jesus' death and resurrection further establishes a basis for our own faith. If those saints could come back to life, so shall we. If they died in the faith that they had and the power of Jesus' triumph caused them to live again, we can have this same kind of hope as well. If we die in the faith, and if we die in the hope of his resurrection, we too shall live again. The truth of the resurrection is the basis for our faith in Jesus Christ. We believe in what he did and what he promised to do for us. And now we want to pray. Dear Lord, when we consider your power, we are humbled and in awe. You triumphed over death and showed us that nothing is more powerful than you. When you conquered death, many others who had died were affected. Your resurrection allowed them to live again as proof of your triumph. Our hope for eternal life is well-founded, and we celebrate your sacrifice and resurrection to provide the same for us. Through faith in you and in your word, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Christ is risen. Have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. God bless you all.